Well, we are having a heck of a time here. So, the first one went in good. The second one went in good. We get to the third one. And Lucas goes, aren't we supposed to be in line with the rafter? I totally forgot about that. Part of this design is the post has to line up with the rafter. So my support can go right up to there. So needless to say, it was like six inches off. Every one of them is off. Well, was off. This one's still off right here. You can see it's not lined up. So we're still going to pull this one. So we ended up, the third one wasn't in yet, so we were able to pull off the plate, move it over, and then move our base over, break off a few stone in there, went tight to that bench, and, and then we were able to get this one in. But then we forgot to nail the top. So we went over and started working on this and jacked it up a little bit and all of a sudden this thing is starting to fall. So luckily I was able to grab it so it didn't hit the stone too hard. It didn't hurt it or anything. And I didn't hurt myself or anything. So then we got that in place, nailed the top. Always make sure you nail them. I, I know better. We just, you know, once one thing is off then you start, you have to relax and keep moving forward being safe so now we have this one in place this one we had to we first put it on and then that one wasn't touching so we were just too high here so i had to pull it out then we put a piece of slate in and then it wasn't high enough it wouldn't even come back down to touch so then i pulled that out because i my choice was either two pieces of slate, which are very thick, because they were thick ones that I brought up, or I went and got another green one, which is a thinner stone. So we have two thinner ones in there. I took out a thicker one to um, get the slate in. So you had to redo this one like five times. And then took it all apart at one point and removed some crushed stone at the bottom. So anyways, this one is in now and it's nailed and now we're down to our third one here which actually is not touching it's hanging up in the air right now so i need to pull the post out pull the base out put some crushed stone underneath because it's not off enough that i can put another slice of stone in I could use a piece of slate, but if I, can put, if I can put more crushed stone underneath, I should be able to bring it up about a half inch. Or maybe I'd use, use a piece of slate. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a break now, go eat, and then um, we'll... Um, either way, we have to pull this out. And move it over so what we're doing is we're pulling out the header with the post so we're taking out those four nails right up in here two on each side and pulling it out and since it's hanging we'll just pull out another piece of stone so it's totally hanging and then lucas guides it while i pull the nails but it's not too bad the thing is we needed to correct it because i thought well Okay, I could run my support. I could change my design and run the support up in. But that messes everything up. Because on the other side, the concept is that the rafters match. So when you're looking up through here, the rafters that come out through here match those. And that just throws everything off. So move it. Get it right now. And then we're good through because then the next posts have to match these so really i just totally forgot that i you know the carport i had it down and then i started building this and i forgot that small detail but very important detail so thank goodness lucas noticed it before we had them all in it would have been just more work but and especially before i started putting cross supports in 
That would have been a real bummer. But we're getting it corrected. What are you two doing? So we were kept debating, is it straight across there? Is it level? And if you look, according to the siding over there, it kind of looks like that side dips. And this side's not touching yet, so does that have to go up a little bit? Does it have to, it can't come down. The only way it's gonna come down is if I lower the center. So I took the level up there on each side, right on, totally level on each side. It does not dip. So it's good. I just have to, um, we have to move this one over, bring our base up a little bit with either a piece of slate or some crushed stone underneath the base and then set it back down and nail it and we're good. But it is level. It is level across there according to the level. And I knew the siding wasn't perfect over there. You can see some waves in it. So it's not good to go by that. Okay, there's where we're at. We're gaining. It's taking more time than I thought it would, but that's okay as long as we do it right. Ava, what are you doing? <laughs> 